Well, hello, welcome to I Love Gate today. And this is going to be fun. We're jumping back into something we haven't touched on in a while in the world of, of auto racing and sports and so forth, but with a little bit of a different uh, angle. And we're here with Brandon Atkins out of uh, Ohio. How are you, Brandon? I'm doing good. Thank, thank you for having me on. I'm excited to be be here with you. We we've uh, interviewed uh, a, someone in the world of drag racing uh, uh, several months ago, uh, Travis Shumaki, if you know him. Yep, yep, definitely have heard of the name. He actually got me involved in um, trying to reach out to um, different, um, you know, uh, outlets and stuff, just like yourself. And yeah, um, we're just trying to get you know and spread the word and just make awareness a little bit better. That's the whole thing. I think it's I think it's amazing because you're in a world that not everybody really knows about or understands. Uh, we all we all grew up with go karts uh, as kids. Uh, at least most of us did. And um, but you're in this world of uh, you're you're a kart track owner, but you're in the world of uh, go karts and you race, but more on the professional side. And uh, so that it seems that there's there's two sides of this: one for the family and kids, and then there's this whole professional side to it. Absolutely, and you know they're they're both directed towards family and kids, and um, you know, you just have the the recreational side where it's just fun. You're just going out with your buddies, bachelor parties, uh, graduation parties, stuff like that. But then, you know, there's definitely the very serious side of it, which we definitely cater on, um, where you could start at five years old and race until you're 80 if you want Basically, to. But it's, it's, it's uh, a stepping stone. You know, all the motorsports racers and anybody involved has, has heard about karting or started in karting. Yeah. So for them to have any baseline of driving – the lines of the racetrack, you know, stuff like that. It all starts, you know, at the basic level. And and that's what we're trying to do. Interesting. But no, uh, even before getting into more of that, uh, what's interesting is that, uh, you know, you're in, you're in Ohio, but uh, you know, it's, I think we all know Ohio is one of the States. It's a little tough sometimes uh, a lot of family pressures and so forth. So coming out is not always easy. And so you actually, you were married, you, you had a family and kids, but um, a lot has changed you from the notes I took, you, you'd moved to North Carolina, met your current husband and came back to Ohio. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I moved around a lot, uh, growing up with all the racing and, um, I went to try to different outlets of, you know, I worked at a cart manufacturer. I worked at a, a race team that imported go-karts. I worked at a other racetrack, helped them open up and stuff like that. And, um, so I've always had a very big passion in karting. And so when I met my ex-wife, she was actually involved in karting. Um, and it kind of just brewed and, and, you know, and helped everything move along. And yeah. eventually I still just couldn't get out of the fact that like, there's something different and I need to make a change. So, you know, one thing led to another and things happened. And, um, I found myself in Charlotte, uh, working for a race team and I met my husband and yeah. every since then, you know, it's been way more easy to accept. Um, and it was, it was way less hard to to make the announcement or, or to come out per se um, when you have that big of a support system and somebody backing you. So he has been tremendous in, in all of it. And now that he's involved with the business and stuff too, it's, you know, we're around each other 24 seven. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's awesome. Um, and as far as the kids go, they, uh, you know, they're, they're super involved, um, but we don't get them very often. So they're not anything like I went through, you know, I would, I would dread getting off the school bus because I had to practice or test and the kids, you know, they're, they're just doing it for fun. And yeah. um, if they, if they pick up on it and want to do it, then great. If they don't, then we'll just let them do what they want to do. <laughs> I think that's, what's amazing. Your story kind of came full circle. I mean, you, you, uh, you came out, you kind of escaped in some ways, but things have, things have evolved and moved, come together and you're able to, you're, you're back home, you're with your kids uh, and, uh, and you're able to uh, kind of still fulfill your dream of, you know, not just kart racing, but owning Atkins Raceway. And it just seems like everything's come together really nicely for you. Yeah, you know, it It unfortunately took the passing of my dad um, to make it all happen. But um, I had moved back right before um, he passed away uh, to help open up an indoor facility. And um, it was kind of like all in the works of me working with, the, with our racetrack and um, bringing in new stuff and stuff like that because it hadn't been open. We had our last race here was in 2001 before we opened it up um, just about five years ago, six years ago now. So um, if it wasn't for everything kind of happening, it, it wouldn't have been at this stage now. So, um, you know, God love him. But, you know, it it definitely was something that um, took a hit on everybody, the community, the family. 
Um, we've had to change a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, you know, the business was started in the 70s with my grandparents, but it was directed towards um, making and blueprinting and uh, performance uh, enhancement of all the engines. Um, now we don't focus on any of the engine stuff. It's all just cart sales, the race ta- track, the race team, um, driver coaching, all that kind of stuff. Oh, that's really cool. On a on a side note, I my personal love when I was in when I was in it was in the eighties. It was uh I was into muscle cars and hot rods and all that. And I was uh I'd rebuild three fifty engines and it was all about Holly carburetors and Edelbrock manifolds and that whole world that uh I I'm, I'm sure it doesn't tie as much into the go kart world, but it was uh it, to me it seemed that it was it was it was it was my whole life at the time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, anything I think about race wise, I kind of always turn it back towards a go kart sport to kind of even make sense and 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 just about anything daily life wise goes. But yeah, um, motorsports has definitely been yeah. all about us forever. Yeah. So. I get it. I totally get it. What is what's interesting also, you know, your connections because I noticed that uh you're a community champion with Racing Pride, and uh, that's an organization I've known about for years, and they're really strong on social media, and they they seem to do a really good job of just kind of getting the word out and, and showing, showing the world uh, the LGBT community in motorsports. Yeah, absolutely. And um, that was another, you know, that was another Travis help. Um, he helped me get in contact with um, Richard Morris there, the, yeah. one of the co-founders. And um, I kind of been bugging him a little bit, <laughs> a little bit, maybe too much, but whatever. Yeah. Um, and they, you know, we, we arranged an agreement this year that we're, um, I become a community champion and, you know, I'll help support them. They'll help support me. And they definitely have a very, very, very big um, platform and community there that uh, I think can introduce a lot of people into karting and into motorsports in general. And just know that there's a place for everybody. Um, doesn't matter if you're a male, female, trans, gay, bi, whatever. Um, and that's the biggest thing is like, we just, we want to know, we want everybody to know that no matter what you are or how you feel there, there's some place for you, you know, and, and in, in motorsports, it's typically not geared anywhere towards that direction. Yep. So um, for somebody to say, Hey, I'm, I'm gay or I, I feel somewhere different than, than the norm. Um, but Hey, there's these guys out there that are completely with it and can get the job done. And, you know, but they're, they're have the same mindset as us. So that definitely is, something that we want to look forward to oh very cool well if it for folks who don't know right now it's the probably the i think it's the last weekend of winter and now it's we're going into spring and now you're gonna have a whole summer of uh things you have a you have a tight you have a busy schedule here coming up yeah absolutely um unfortunately in ohio we can't really, really do too much with the racetrack and stuff like that so uh coming here in the beginning of uh, april we're hoping to open the facilities up and um and then we'll get the track going and then uh i have a full season of personal racing schedule uh happening starting may 6th weekend okay. um we go with the race team i think the weekend before the, or two weeks before yeah. um we travel with them so yeah it, it starts ramping up and it doesn't stop until uh towards the end of october that's excellent well i'm really glad you're able to to be here and share a bit of your story and um there's a really good article about uh interview you did with uh outsports and we're going to make sure to link that up to uh when we post this on youtube and so forth and uh but mostly I'm just really glad you were able to share, take a little time and share some of your story with our audience here. We, I really, really appreciate it again. I can't thank you enough. And um, I just hope that this opens up some minds and gives some people some outlets to say, Hey, you know, I want to race go-karts or I want to go try go-karts. You know, we're open yeah. to the public. We're open to somebody serious. So um, again, five ages five to, to 80. So uh, yeah. if you have any interest at all, please, you know, reach out. Well, thank you. Great meeting you here. Thank you. So good. Coming back.